Hello, my name is Cy Porter. I'm going to show you how to animate a dress or skirt using Adobe After Effects and cut out animation. When you're animating limbs, you know, arms and legs, that doesn't pose as much of a problem. But when you have deforming masses like hair and dresses, it involves a few extra steps. And I'll describe those to you. Okay, right now, the animation I'm working on is at a point where I have all the motion capture data. I have all these null objects that represent the movement of elbows, wrist, shoulders, head, knees, ankles. And so I have all the null objects that are moving the puppet as it is. And I don't have any cutout images for the upper leg. The main part of the dress is going to serve one purpose for this type of animation. I'm going to work with pre-compositions that will be masked off and they will have an edge that the main part of the dress is going to cover up. As you can see here, as it moves, all the other parts of the character are moving and ready to add the dress part. In Photoshop, I created a couple of more drawings for the front part of the dress and the back part of the dress. Each of these drawings only have one layer. And even though the actual drawing does not take up much space, a majority of the file is the alpha channel or the invisible part of the drawing. The document is the same dimensions as the project I'm working in in After Effects. And after I create the one file for the back of the dress and one file for the front of the dress, which essentially is, is uh, this same drawing only flipped around. So that's what the other drawing will look like. So I'll take the back part, the drawing of the back part of the dress, bring it into After Effects, drop it in the project box, and the options I want to choose, I want to make sure I want to choose composition so that it will remain having the same dimensions as the project I'm working in and make sure that it's edible layer styles. Click OK. And it will create a new composition for me automatically. I'm gonna, going to rename it BK right, back right. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. And the, the copy I'm going to rename back left. So let's go ahead and take back right into the main composition and that creates a nested composition and I want to double click on it to open it up and there is the drawing in the composition back right. I want to go back to my main composition and I want to control click the right hip, right knee, and right ankle. These are the null objects that have the motion track data. Control C will copy those null objects. Go into the back right composition. Go ahead and paste them in. Then we're going to double click on the image file. We're going to go to the puppet tool. And for the back right leg, we want to make a pin for the hip joint, 
the knee joint I bring that pin in a little bit because the knee joint is towards the front of the leg usually and then the back part and notice that the knee joint is closer to what was the ankle information because I want the dress to go midway between the ankle and the knee. I want it to hang halfway down from the knee. Thank you for watching this tutorial. It's made so that more people can be told about an illustrated film. Episodes of the film are posted at solomation.com. New episodes are posted as they are finished. All episodes will be free, available to watch at solomation.com. I go back to the coat. I go ahead and hit U to open up all the parameters that have keyframes on them. In this case, it's the puppet tools. And I'll click on each puppet tool and name it. So when I click on this puppet tool, I notice that the the ankle one shows up so I'll name that him for the lower part of the dress and then the knee part and I'll name that knee and then the hip part I'll name that hip and all of these null objects I will select them hit P to open up the position alt click on the stopwatch to link up the null objects with the puppets so that out and now you can see that the dress is very distorted. The dress is also hanging down by the ankle. So one main thing I wanna do, I wanna click on the position of the ankle and make sure all these keyframes are selected. Move that whole controller null all the way up to midpoint between the knee and the ankle so that the dress is only hanging below the knee and not all the way down to the ankle. The back right pre -comp or nested composition is above the, the lower leg and the foot, but is below the main dress here. So it looks pretty good. You see how the leg moves out from the back of the dress. But then we have a problem here. Do you see how it's showing up at the front part of the dress? So we want to have it we want to have it move out from behind the dress but we don't want to have it balloon out here in the front of the dress. We're going to go back to that nested composition, select all the layers and we are going to make them 3D objects. And we can go ahead and change the view to two views here. And now everything is 3D and we can create a camera. And all we're going to do with the camera is we're going to move it so that it cuts off the dress. Now you notice you have the null for the hip. Here's the null for the, the hip joint here. And we're moving the camera so it just about cuts off that null. Because we don't want to have the dress showing up when it moves to the right of that null. We do want to have it show when it moves to the left. And now when we go back to the main composition, the nested composition has moved over. Just click on the nested composition. I use the shift left arrow, move it back over so that it lines up. So as you can see here, when now when the leg moves behind the character, the dress will show up but then that image does not, does not show up when the leg moves to the front side. You want to create four nested compositions. One for the back right leg, like we just did, and then you want to create one for the front right leg that is masked off to the left instead of the right, and one for the back left leg and one for the front right leg. Okay, let's take a look at what it looks like when we've created those four nested compositions. And now you can see that when both left and right leg move forward, 
there are image files for the dress that will show at the front but not the back and the same is true for the left and right for the back and if I turn off the main coat image here you can see all four of those nested comps and how they're masked off so you see how they will show up when they need to and then disappear but we don't want our audience to see that so we cover it up with the main part of the dress and I did do a lot of tweaking on the dress it's not an exact science there's going to be a certain amount of distortion but that is part of the fun of animation I hope this was helpful if you like my animations please check out my animated work at solomation.com and hit the like button subscribe tell a friend all that good stuff I hope your animation and drawing and storytelling goes well and have a good day